In this video, we're going to discuss the concepts of hyperemia and congestion. Hyperemia, hyper means more or a lot, and emia <clears throat> refers to blood. So there's a lot of blood in this one, and congestion also refers to a lot of blood in the tissues. Um, so if we have an artery, artery, and then the artery branches out, and then it comes down to a vein. So if you have an artery and a vein, ultimately you have a capillary. A capillary is when this arterial supply, which is blood that is highly oxygenated, has a lot of oxygen in it, and a vein that has deoxygenated and it carries a lot of waste. So this is a, a capillary here. And so hyperemia is when these is an active process. Hyperemia is an active process. Active process that causes vasodilatation or vasodilation. So you have um, this artery coming in here and in, in the case of hyperemia some trigger or some uh, stimulus causes this artery and these arterioles, uh, these smaller arteries to, to vasodilate or to, to get bigger. So there's more blood, more blood. Congestion on the other hand, congestion is a passive process, is a passive process where this, um, this vein is obstructed somehow. This blood flow or this blood return is obstructed. So then, so blood starts pushing back, which also causes veins to get bigger. Uh, congestion is a passive process and there's an obstruction somehow on the outside of this pipe on this vein here and causes blood to back up which also is getting more blood into the tissues and is causing these vessels to get bigger. So both hyperemia and congestion are as more blood into the tissues, the vessels get bigger, but the hyperemia is an active process and congestion is a passive process. Also, because of you increase bilirubin, the color you start can you can start turning blue, or this tissue right here will start turning blue because of the increase in bilirubin, um, and this is called cyanosis. Cyanosis, the condition of turning blue. So as you get congestion here or this venous return is congested somehow, you start getting cyanosis, you start, this tissue starts turning blue and that's an indication that there's an obstruction somehow or the blood flow is not, um, you know, is not up to par in this section of the tissue. Understanding the concepts of hyperemia versus congestion, that will help us understand our next topic, hemorrhage. So we'll see you in the next video. But before we go to the next video, I just wanted to clarify, I, I misspoke here when I said increase in bilirubin. It's an actually an increase in hemoglobin. And because, because of the hemoglobin, the hemoglobin, which just carries oxygen from the lungs to all the parts of your body, as the oxygen kind of dumps off this hemoglobin molecule inside your red blood cells, that process of dumping off oxygen causes these tissues to become blue. So it's a decrease in hemoglobin that has no oxygen or O2. So it's an increase in the deoxygenated version of hemoglobin that causes blueness of the tissues or this condition called cyanosis.